Okay, so you've broken your comfy UI and behind me is an example of me. I've just broken my comfy UI. And if you're like me and you install a lot of custom nodes all the time, you're bound to install a custom node that causes your comfy UI to break. And just behind me is an example of one of those nodes. So I've got several techniques I use to fix my comfy UI and I'll demonstrate those to you in this video. Okay, now there's many reasons why custom node is going to break your Comfy UI. That's because Comfy UI is being updated all the time. Your custom nodes might not be completely in sync with the latest version of Comfy UI. And even Comfy UI and the custom nodes themselves will depend on many Python libraries that are also potentially out of sync with each other, such as tensors, torch, transformers, particular models that they load, all kinds of things. So let's fix my Comfy UI. The first thing to know is to look back at the last custom node you installed and then delete that. So I'm in my Comfy UI folder and if I go into custom nodes and I have quite a few custom nodes in there and just about all of those work but I know the one that I tried to install just a few minutes ago which broke my Comfy UI is this one here called Cozy Voice 2. Now at the current time of creating this video I'm using the latest version of Comfy UI and I've just installed the nightly version of Cozy Voice 2 and it's broken it. Now I can't say that it's always going to be this case but just this is a good opportunity for me to make this video and to show you that it's broken and that I can fix it. So what I'm going to do is simply just delete it from the system like that and then go away from that and try and restart Comfy UI again. Okay, so I have a special icon for that. There it is. Okay, so it's still broken. So that didn't fix it, but sometimes that does fix your installs. The next thing I'm going to do is go into where I've installed Comfy UI and I've installed the Windows portable version. I always use the portable version because it gives you a lot more options in how you use it on your own system. So if I go to update there, there's one update Comfy UI stable. Now this is going to make sure our Comfy UI is using libraries that are considered stable. So double click that and I'm running that. Okay, so it pulled the latest changes, done, press any key to continue. All right, let's try that again. Okay, so still a problem. Sometimes that actually works and your Comfy UI will begin to work again, but in this case it didn't. So a third thing I'm going to try is actually just to reinstall Comfy UI from the ground up. So if I go back down here into my Comfy UI folder, there are several folders that I want to back up first, and those are my custom nodes folder. I'm also going to create a backup of my input folder, my models, and my output. For now. Now these folders are ones that are very customized for your own install of Comfy UI because you've downloaded your own models and checkpoints and things like that. You've probably generated many files, images, videos, audio, and they'll all be in there. And then you've probably used many for your inputs as well. So cut that because it's much faster to cut than to copy. And I'm just going to put them aside down here in my dedicated drive that I use for Comfy UI. Okay, so there's one more folder. So back in there. Maybe you've got a whole bunch of saved workflows and you'll find them in here, workflows. They're a bunch of my custom workflows. So I'm just going to copy that as well. So control X to cut and I'm just going to put that side down in my dedicated drive that I use for Comfy UI. Okay, so now portable folder, I'm just going to delete it completely from the system. It's going to take a little while. There's a lot in there. Okay, so what's left are the folders that I just removed from the portable version because these are all full of things that I want to keep. Okay, so now I'm going to reinstall Comfy UI. And like I said, I always use the portable version. And right now, at the time of making this video, that's the version. If I scroll down, here are the downloads. I'm going to use the NVIDIA portable version because I have an NVIDIA card. You might have an AMD card or you might have a requirement to use an older version of CUDA. I'm going to use this one here so I can download that. If I go to my downloads, it's already there. So I'm just going to click it and do extract all. And I'm going to put it in the same place on my H drive like that. Extract. Now, if you've seen my Comfy UI install video, I explained about my dedicated H drive there. It's one terabyte and it's used exclusively for my Comfy UI because I recommend having a dedicated drive for it and using the portable version. Anyway, there's a link to that install video in the description if you're interested. All right, okay, back to my H drive. Comfy UI Windows Portable is back. I'm just gonna verify it works. 
Okay, very good, it works. So now I'm going to just get my folders that I backed up and put them back into Comfy UI. So there on my H, custom nodes, input, models, output. I'm gonna take all of those, go into there, into there, and then just paste, replace everything. And also do my workflows. So control X, Comfy UI, user, default, and workflows like that. Let's try restarting Comfy UI again. It's gonna to have to install a lot of dependencies because of all of those custom nodes. Still quite a few warnings going on, but anyway, my Comfy UI is back. Now, if I go into the manager, I'll be able to go through my custom nodes and often some of those nodes still may not have reset themselves up properly. So here's an example here. You can try to fix, I'm gonna try and fix that one. I have to restart it, confirm. Okay, it looks like I've got still a few import fails there, but I can go through those one by one. I'm going to have to restart the UI. Okay, very good. Manager, and if I just scroll through, yeah, there'll be a one or two definitely showing up. Okay, there's one Sonic. Anyway, I'll continue on that on myself, but anyway, my comfy UI is back. Anyway, thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and consider becoming a member of my channel. I have many topics that I create memberships only videos for. I have about 650 of them. So there's Grafana, Comfy UI, React 3 Fiber, TypeScript, Python, Zabbix, 3JS, TSL, Socket.io, 3JS itself, Sweet Home 3D, Prometheus, and Blender, if you're interested in any of those topics. Anyway, excellent. Thanks for watching. See you later.